And no breed better represents the human desire to make the perfect dog go, than the Dogo Argentino. Farmers brought this muscular dog here to southwest Texas from Argentina in the 1990s to combat wild boars that were destroying crops. A wild boar can weigh 400 pounds or more with sizable sharp tusks, a nearly impenetrable hide, and an aggressive disposition. If we get a lead, we can just drag it. Boars destroy over $52 million worth of crops in Texas each year. So hunters turn to a dog that can both seek out and catch the prey. It is fearless, aggressive, and strong. Mike Chrisman is a hunter and founder of the Dogo Argentino Club of America. We use them for hunting, you know, on a daily basis because we have such a, a bad wild boar problem. Dogos fulfill a role, fits right into the need that farmers have to try to control these animals. Today, Chrisman and his fellow outdoorsmen take to the plains to hunt. With them are Chewy, Exodus, and Loyal. Suited up in Kevlar vests to protect them from the boar's tusks. The trio brace for the hunt. The dogos track silently, searching for the scent of the boar. They're bred to run at high speeds for short distances, but can cover long distances at a gallop, preserving energy to tackle the enormous prey. Which way do they go? The dogo innately hunt in packs, working as a team like their ancestor, the wolf. But we have bred into it a tenacious fearlessness. Because these dogs were bred specifically to tackle dangerous game, they don't have the same fear of injury that a wolf has, and um, they pretty much count on the fact that people are there to help them. The Dogo Argentino was intricately designed like a machine, perfected over a course of 25 years by two Argentine brothers beginning in the 1920s. The Martinez brothers started with a fighting dog of Cordoba, a bulldog, bull terrier, and mastiff mix. This dog was a brutal hunter, but too aggressive for working in a pack, and did not have a keen sense of smell. They began to add more breeds to the mix in the hope of isolating desirable traits. A pointer gave it a better nose for the hunt. A Great Dane added size. An Irish wolfhound contributed instincts for wild game. Mastiffs gave it power. And the Great Pyrenees provided the white coat, making the dogo visible during the hunt. And here is the successful outcome of this genetic stew. As soon as the dogs catch the scent, they chase the boar down. Together, they seize the animal. Two take the boar from the front, the third from behind, thinning it down until the hunters arrive. The dogo will not kill the animal. Rather, it relinquishes the quarry to its master, who will, in the Argentine tradition, dispatch the boar with a knife. It is not unusual for these dogos to capture eight boar in a single hunt. Whenever he's comfortable, does he smell a lot? And when returned to home, the dogo becomes docile. It is especially loving and protective with small children. Its gentility comes from yet another breed. The Boxer. This dog has dual, seemingly contradictory traits. It is an ultimate hunting machine and a gentle soul. The Dogo represents a high concept design. 25 years of selective, aggressive invention for a distinct purpose, a new breed. 
which shaping man's best friend at first was most likely an accident.